So today is the NFC. Now, I felt yesterday, last year I went seven for seven on playoff teams in the AFC. And I yesterday I feel very strongly about there's two or three teams I think are just excellent. Kansas City, uh, Buffalo, Indianapolis. And then I think there's teams that maybe just slightly lower, like a Baltimore. But I, I still have strong convictions with Lamar Jackson. And I think the bottom's very clear. I think the NFC is really hard. Uh, last year I was about 50-50 on the playoff teams. I know who's pretty good, but many of the teams that I like a lot are in the toughest division. San Francisco, Seattle, and the Rams are all going to beat each other. So whereas Buffalo clearly has the best roster in the AFC East, I mean, as much as I like Washington in the NFC East, you know, I, Ryan Fitzpatrick's the quarterback. What do I do with that? So I think the NFC is much harder to predict, but this is what we do. Our NFC predictions, let's unveil them first with the NFC East. I think Washington has the best coach and easily the best defense. I'll pick them to win the division. I do worry that Ryan Fitzpatrick, I believe it's his ninth team in 17 years, will play them out of wins. He's just a gunslinger. There's very few left in the NFL that play like him or, for that matter, with a beard, look like him. Uh, but I do believe the culture, Ron Rivera, he's creating in the defense 10-7. and seven. Dallas is going to be a playoff team to me at 9-8. and eight. If you look at their schedule, with the exception of a game against Tampa Bay early, I don't believe they play another playoff team till week 11. There's a lot of average defenses on that schedule, and I picked the Cowboys at 9-8 and eight to finish second, the Giants 8-9 and nine third, and it's really a vote for Dak Prescott. I trust Dak Prescott taking care of the football more than I do turnover-prone Daniel Jones taking care of the football. Now, the Giants have a much better defense than Dallas, but I do believe the Cowboys' offense is more grooved. They've played together now. Uh, the defense will be better. So it, those are go-either-way teams. I trust Dak more than Daniel Jones. The Eagles may have the worst quarterback coaching combo in the league. We don't know, but I don't trust Nick Sirianni. It's a rebuilding mess. To the NFC North, Packers at 10-7 and seven win it. I have pulled back for obvious reasons. This is the year of simmering resentment in Green Bay, both from the front office and Aaron. It's going to be uh, a little bit of a reality show, the impending divorce. Uh, Minnesota doubles their wins. I, they, were four, they, were, they fell apart physically last year. I love Mike Zimmer as a coach. They have a lot of big television games against the Packers and the Niners and the Cowboys, and you know how I feel about Kirk Cousins. He shrinks in those games. So I have them at nine and eight. Uh, the Bears, I believe Justin Fields will look very good in camp. He will pop athletically in the preseason and they'll play him week one or week two. I think it's simply asking too much, as much as I like Justin Fields, to go in and be a playoff team. Hell, look how good Justin Herbert was. Look at the final record. The Lions, not a fan of anything there. I'm rooting for Jared Goff. Don't love the coach, the front office, or the owner. Let's move on. NFC South. Tampa Bay is the clear favorite and my number one seed. I do not for a second buy into this nonsense about 17-0. Bruce Arians and Tom Brady are smart enough to know it's not about the regular season. What it's about is being fresh. This is a league of attrition. I think Bruce Arians will give veteran players weeks off, looser practices, lighter practice load. They won a Super Bowl. It's not about getting to the playoffs. It's not about perfect records. They're going to lose a game. Give up on that late and rest starters 13 and 4 Tampa Bay. I'm going to give the Saints 9 and 8 second. Basically, I'm betting on culture, their GM, and their coach. I don't know who their quarterback is. I'd go with Jameis Winston. Um, I, I don't think you can have kind of a, a, a gimmicky quarterback be a franchise quarterback. I, I think they're an interesting team. They were over the cap uh, and they had to peel back on some talent. So I just, I, I think the Super Bowl window has closed for them. Carolina is still in a rebuilding mode, at least defensively. Now, I do think Sam Darnold adds an athleticism. That, and with D.J. Moore and Christian McCaffrey, uh, they went and got uh, the, the left tackle out of BYU. He'll start. They really solved a lot of their issues, but they're still rebuilding on the defensive end. But I love the coach. I love the coordinator. I love the receivers. Christian McCaffrey and Chuba Hubbard out of Oklahoma State. They will be very explosive. Robbie Anderson over the top. They'll be a big play offense. Darnold can make mistakes, but he can make plays. Atlanta at 7-10. and 10. Now, I like Arthur Smith. I thought he was a great coordinator. I have no idea if he's a head coach. This is still an egregiously bad defense. Uh, also, Matt Ryan tends to be a guy that, that flourishes in the second year with a new system. 
Um, they've, they've Listen, Kyle Pitts, probably going to win Rookie of the Year. They're going to score a bunch of points, but they, they've been scoring a bunch of points for the last three years. They don't win enough football games. They're last at 7-10. and 10. NFC West, easily the best division in football. Rams 11-6, and six, Seahawks 11-6. and six. I think Los Angeles with Matt Stafford will be better in division, so I have them winning the division. Seahawks 11-6, and six. again, they've got some new pieces here. Um, this is a team that wants to win a Super Bowl as well. I, I can see uh, it's, they've got some new pieces at tight end, offensive line, kind of trying to figure it out early. I have San Francisco, the mystery team in the NFC at 9-8. and eight. Now, why would I say that? You know I think they're capable of winning the Super Bowl. I do. But I've got to hedge my bet here. Jimmy Garoppolo's recent history is he's not playing 17 games. That means you'll hand the starting role over to 20-year-old Trey Lance, who by the time the season starts has one start in a football game in two years. In this division, that is a huge ask. That is an unbelievable ask. I mean, Justin Fields will struggle. Try being Trey Lance against Pete Carroll and Sean McVay and getting into track meets against Arizona. I got the Cardinals at 8-9, and nine, and I like them. I really do, but I think the division's ridiculous. And, uh, you know, Arizona's going to be the best 8-9 and nine team in the NFL. I'll leave it at that. So here's my seeding. Bucks are a clear number one. I have the Rams as a number two. Again, they'll be better in division than Seattle will, so the Rams are my two. Green Bay is a pretty weak three. I don't know if Matt LaFleur and Aaron Rodgers are good now. The last play they had together, he pulled him off the field. I don't even know how that relationship is. Washington is a scary four seed because they you watched them against Brady last year in the playoffs with Taylor Heineke. That that defense is no joke, and they've gotten better offensively with some of their additions on the perimeter. Seattle will be an unbelievably good wild card team capable of winning the Super Bowl. I had the Browns yesterday as a five seed in the AFC. So the, the, the number one wild card teams, Cleveland in the AFC, Seattle in the NFC, are great. Those are great wild card teams. I've got Dallas. They've got a big game against Minnesota in Week Eight. I think they win that game. Dak out plays Kirk Cousins. There it is, a wild card team, and I have San Francisco, who also plays the Vikings and will win. That defense will give Kirk Cousins nightmares, making it as a wild card team. So uh, I believe the AFC is better at the top than the NFC. I think the NFC is better at the bottom of the playoffs with Seattle, Dallas's offense, and the Niners as well. So there you go. Hi everybody! Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.